accurate this soil survey instrument is. But what I've done is I've found a chart on the internet. Check this out. Okay, I know that was a quick snapshot and you won't have had a chance to study that chart, but not to worry, I'm going to add it to the end of this video. And what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to use this soil survey instrument to check the pH of a number of items on that list. And so what I'd like you to do is, as I check each of the items, perhaps record what the item is and the pH value that this meter gives us. And then at the end of the video, when I put that chart back up, you'll be able to see the level of accuracy. You'll be able to determine just how accurate this particular instrument is. So yeah, today we're testing this soil survey instrument. Um, you may want to do it yourself if you've got an instrument. You may want to do a similar test. Perhaps put it up on YouTube and we'll get a chance to see how your instrument performs.
did you enjoy the video? Did you record the values that the instrument gave us for each of those items? The pH reading. Good, good, good. Right, what I'll do now is I'll pop that um, chart back up with the approximate pH values for each of the items and you'll be able to see just how accurate this particular soil survey instrument is and make a judgement. <laughs>